What's up guys, Jumperson here, and we are back with another vlog. I know it has been a while since I have vlogged. So I thought, why not, let's just jump straight into it. Today, we're gonna be doing kind of like a vlog unboxing, I guess, because I have recently gotten a package. Wow, the studio is a mess. This is, what hap this is what it looks like after a shoot, by the way. If you're wondering, that is the box for the camera that I'm shooting on right now. The EOS RP, great camera by the way. Um, yeah, that's the aftermath of shooting the video for this, which should already be up. Uh, so go check that video out. I'll link it up right there. What's up guys, Future Joel here, and I kinda just wanna make a comment about one of the things I said in the video. Uh, that should've popped up a little while ago. It was about the camera. That was in that box. I already did some of that stuff. The camera that was in that box. Um, I talked about there being video linked up, and you might not have seen that. That is because that video will not be showing up anytime soon on this channel, and that is because I may or may not have lost the footage for it. I'm not gonna say if I have or not. I may have. But yeah, it was a pretty cool unboxing video. It happens, sadly it does. Um, you get a good video and then you lose the footage for it. So this is the box that it came in. It's a pretty cool looking box. EOS RP with a 24-105. It's got a cool R on the top. I found that pretty cool. But yeah, you're gonna see this camera a lot more. Uh, shooting with it a lot more as well. So it's not like you're never gonna see the camera. You just won't see the unboxing for it. So, sorry. We're gonna have some more videos up. But, yeah. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. But yeah, that's the aftermath of a shoot. Desk is a mess. Microphone stuff. And then that, that is the box that we're going to be unboxing. So I thought, why not let's just get straight into it and do an unboxing on camera, cause why not? So let me set the camera up real quick. Right here. Set up the forehead, do do do. All right, so let's just get straight into it. I'm gonna move this light over a little bit and then we will change our ISO. That looks pretty decent, so we're just gonna stick with that. I'm gonna move the camera over a bit. All right, so we're gonna, just gonna hop into it. We have the Rode Video Micro. As you can tell, audio right now is not too terribly great, and so this is going to fix that. I'm just using a shotgun mic right now. Let's get a knife and pop this sucker open without damaging anything. That would be nice. I have a local camera shop near me. And so I decided, I've never been in a camera shop at all. So I decided might as well go check it out. And I found one of these, so I thought, since I'm here, might as well just grab it. <laughs> and so I did. And now we are in this position that I am right now, doing an unboxing. Next time we go in there, I might vlog show you around the place because it is a pretty cool shop all right we got the box open let's see what's inside there's a pretty cool little case that it comes in that is this is all that's everything in the box that's pretty cool all right so let's open this up here seems we have a dead cat the microphone seems to already be in the dead cat our shock stabilizer, so if you have any camera movement, it won't pick that up, which is always super useful when using a shotgun mic. All right, let's pop this sucker open. All right, so let's see everything that we get in the box. We have our dead cat and our microphone right here. And you can take that off. Some these little packets. Don't really need that. Um, our shock absorber. These are pretty cool these. Then we have our cable. 
so you can actually use it on the camera. Some instructions, safety, and then warranty, which I've already I've already done because the number is on the box. All right, so this is just our quick startup guide. So let's. I never read instructions. I just want to see what it says. Okay, cool. Not really much that I need to know. All right, so this is the microphone itself. Taking out the deck cat. That this is the microphone. It's very small. Let me see if I can focus on that instead of my face. There we go. That is our microphone. It's a little small shotgun mic, Rode Video Micro. That is why it's called the Micro. Let me see if I can focus on my face now. There we go. That is why it's called the video micro because it is so small, but it is a Rode microphone. So of course you're gonna get great audio out of it. That's a given with any Rode microphone that you get. So let's just slide this thing on in here into our shock mount. All right, now we are set up. And this is, this just goes on the hot shoe mount. Super easy set up right there and let's open this up now, I have not used this that this road microphone at all I've wanted to I've heard that it's pretty good so I'm excited to give it a try so let's hook it up and switch out the microphones all right and now we have switched over to the video micro already sounds so much better in my opinion to be honest uh, we don't have the dead cat on it. This is for mainly outside shooting. But it seems like it would work pretty well. It's pretty well made. We'll have to try it with both with it and without it on just to see what the differences are. So let's put this on real quick and see what it sounds like. All right, so with the dead cat on, there is a slight uh, noise dampening, but that does help a lot, especially when you're outside vlogging. This is mainly for a vlog mic. And that's what I bought it for because my studio microphone is a lot different. My studio microphone is this little wild pack, the Rode Wireless Go. So whenever I'm just kind of making a video of like unboxing my new camera, the RP, I use the lav. This is what I'll use for any video that I'm doing in the studio. Technically not today because we're doing an unboxing of this vlog thing. I don't know what it is yet. But this is what I usually use when I'm doing studio shoots. But this microphone will help a lot with vlogs and stuff like that. Now, does this sound better? Honestly, in my opinion, yes. But with vlogging and stuff like that with multiple people, you can't really have, you can't really be switching lobs a lot because I only have one. And so it just makes it difficult for vlogging and I'm not really gonna walk around with the lava on, so. This is what it would be like if I was vlogging with this microphone. The cool thing about the shock absorber is I'm moving it a lot. I don't know if you can hear it. I'll have to see if you can. Let's change the ISO a little bit. That's not really. There we go. So I can see it moving around a lot. I don't know if it's making any noise because of that dampener, but the dampener should help a lot. So yeah, this is the microphone that I'll be using. This is a new setup that I'll be using actually for vlogs and things like that. Wow, this thing is really good. Um, so yeah, this is just gonna be the setup that I'll use for vlogs and things like that. Um, Cause it just, it works really well. And I'll pull up to this mirror here. Colors kinda suck, but this is the setup that I'm rocking right now. I believe this is the Jovi 5K, I thought it was the 8K. It's 5K, I think. Rode mic, and then the Canon RP. Do my, ta-da, little flip out screen. So, that is the setup that I'm rocking at the moment. And it works decently well, to be honest. From what I've been using it, it works decently well. It's a great camera. The fact that it's full frame just makes it 10 times better, to be honest. I like having a wider field of view. 
the M50, now it was decently wide and it's about a little bit, it's a little bit more compressed than what I'm using right now. So I am using a 24, but it gets the job done decently well. So now I guess I have to clean this mess up. Contraband cards, they are amazing. I love them and I made a video over them. Go check them out right up there. They were really cool cards. Look how good this back looks, how great the background is. That looks really good. So, yeah, I made a video with these cards. I have my setup over here with my little light box, and it turned out amazing. And then I had a little photo shoot. Star Wars, we'll focus. Star Wars playing cards, the white edition. This is their special edition, and this is my favorite edition out of the that they have. They have this version right here, and they also have a red and a black version, or a red and a blue version that I also have. Both of them. <laughs> uh, there is a so. It's supposed to resemble the light and the dark side. I got the white version because it looked cooler, but I will eventually get the black version as well because that honestly looks really cool too. But that was for a video. This is for a video. That tripod setup is for a video. That one actually. That's my ring light. If you're ever wondering what my lighting setup is, that's my only light. And sometimes I'll have that in the background. Most of the time, that's my only light. And it lights up the room decently well, so it gives me a good, nice wash. And I think it looks decently well if I have it my ISO to about a thousand to one, 125, 1250. That looks pretty good too. I also like 1000 because it gives that kind of darker look. That's 125. They both look really good. So really this is the only lighting I need. I don't really need much because I'm able to get some decent shots out of just the lighting that I use now. And it turns out pretty dang good. Now let's turn this back to auto and bam. The only thing I have set to auto is my ISO. Because I don't really have a specific set for what I want it to be. Eventually, I'm gonna get some ND filters to put on this lens so that I can use it for vlogging outdoors without having to do auto ISO. I can just have it set to a specific thing. Eventually, I'm probably gonna end up doing a vlog about this camera taking it out and actually shooting with it, which I'm super excited for. I'm ready to shoot with this camera. It is super cool. I've already done a couple photos. You can see them on Instagram. If you want to go check those out, they actually turned out really well. So yeah, if you want to go check out those pictures that I've taken with this camera, go check them out on my... I think they're on my professional Instagram. Speaking of professional, I also have a website now. I will have it linked down below. You can make your appointments for video and photography for commercial or personal use. It's really up to you. You can schedule an appointment with me and we can get your shoot done. I think that should be all for the vlog today. It's a short one, not really much happening today. Next time I go into the camera shop, it'll probably be for lens, so I'll make sure to take you guys with me and show you what that'll be like. All right.